Hey gang, come on in. I'm so happy to see you again. Listen, we got so many disturbing videos to review. I can't even explain it. Let's go ahead and just get into it and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I don't even know what to say. This flooding in North Carolina does not sit well with me. I think something's going on. So I decided to do some digging. So the first thing I find out is North Carolina has the richest deposits of lithium in the entire world. Yeah, lithium for like cars, batteries, all that. Then I find out they have the world's highest purity quartz deposits. And that quartz just so happens to be the world's supply for AI chips, microchips, and all kinds of stuff. We're talking a $530 billion industry. So this is where it gets interesting. So a company by the name of Piedmont Lithium is awaiting a state mining permit for a site in Northern Gaston County. And Gaston County is completely flooded right now. The project was awaiting zoning approval because they were getting backlash from the residents and also city officials. And this lithium mine they want would be the third largest producer of lithium in the world. And they made a deal with Tesla already. Now remember the quartz? So in Spruce Pine, North Carolina, right next to Ashland, they are wanting to expand their mines even larger. And the residents aren't having it either. Enter the floods. People, these are mountain towns. It rarely, if not ever, floods in the mountains. I would know I grew up in the mountains in Colorado, which means none of these people have flood insurance. I mean, the media is saying biblical devastation in North Carolina, AKA like the worst thing that could happen. And you're not coming back from it. Read between the lines, people. Everything happens for a reason. So I just want to know from you guys, do you feel like this is a global warming issue or you think this is a weather modification issue? this shit is diabolical like there goes all the money that you saved on gas but there goes your house people are really trying to improve their lifestyles as well as the state of our planet but it looks like it's literally backfiring it's, oh my god watch this days or do we need to focus on the s p 500 is that what actually matters huh the s p 500 when most people may not even be alive here in a few days just because we're on the verge of nuclear war Hey, listen to me, Mr. Crutchman. Your degree is worthless. You might as well use speak, it as paperweight because it means nothing. I hope you enjoy the dead children that the economy is powering. Our economy is definitely very powerful right now. All that stock market money goes to the military complex so that more innocent women and children are dead. And fuck off! With the New York Times, the liberal apologists for war and genocide. You all fucking suck. People need to wake up right now and we need to have peace. We can work with China. We can work with Russia. We all need to start war with Iran. All right. I feel like all of us are feeling just like that man right here. And shout out to him and everybody else that is speaking out. Because that's probably one of the most riskiest things that you can do. Uh. What kind of hurricane is Hurricane Milton? From fandom.com, 
Hurricane Milton was an extremely powerful Category 5 hurricane that caused widespread damage across its path in October 2024. They've already predicted the outcome. wonder why. Supposedly this was debunked. These websites should be restricted for Alexa and Siri to be reading from if they're not giving us any type of facts. There's an active serial killer right now in New York City. This is the third time in two weeks that body parts have washed up into Brooklyn Bridge Park. They were found right over by the carousel near Time Out Market. They also found an unidentified body floating in the water in Bay Ridge. This is the third time in two weeks that this has happened in the same spot. On top of that, this young man went missing last week after leaving Brooklyn Mirage. His family had been looking for him and looking for him, and they found him floating in the water. And the area near Brooklyn Barrage is already so, like, weird and eerie. The vibes are just off, in my opinion. It's just, like, a lot of abandoned warehouses, and a lot of people are commenting on how weird the area feels and how something always just feels off over there. I've never been to Brooklyn Mirage, but, like, looks fun, and I've been over by the area. But I've seen multiple people in, like, comment sections of videos come forward and say that the night of this tragedy, they had a weird feeling when they were on their way to Brooklyn Mirage and decided to not go. Like, multiple different people said they had a weird feeling and decided not to go. And then this happens. A body also washed up over on Long Island and in Queens. And the one on Long Island, the body was in a suitcase. So I don't know if that's connected. Please, please stay safe, y'all. And if you want updates, interact, and I will happily give you them. That was interesting. If y'all didn't get anything from this video, just make sure you follow your gut. It's better to be safe than sorry. I'm like actually confused. I live in Texas. I thought Hawaii was somewhere like right here. I swear it was. Tell I me why it it's in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. What? Mm -hmm. In the middle. I'm so confused. And then there's these other islands just random islands like this one it looks really pretty it has an airport on it that is like do people live here have people traveled here like this is so crazy girl i don't give a damn about that other island i swear hawaii was right beside the united states you guys tell me what's going on here i need some answers this is so hard to watch as yes, those are tied up children in a truck. And if you see this, it's a dire warning. People were horrified after a driver in Atlanta found a budget rental truck with seemingly a child's arm laying limp coming out of the back of the truck sitting on top of a dirty mattress. And this is happening more and more. The driver ended up calling the police and followed the truck for several hours. And when the officers got there and opened the truck, it was worse than they thought. The Atlanta driver reported that there seemingly were multiple kids in there, all looking very confused, scared, and disoriented. The truck was allegedly making such a speedy getaway that the police cars had to block the truck from moving and needed over four cars to completely stop the truck driver. This is a real live trafficking situation. These are somebody kids. I'm proud of myself. And horrifying cases like this are so common, it happens to 300,000 children every year. Mm -hmm. Others are actually reporting all of this to be fake news, as you can see all of the family's furniture, and it seems like it was just moving day. Yeah, people are sick. Why would anybody do something like that? And I know it's for a piece of change, like a big piece of change, but like this is just demonic work. This is terrible. Okay, me and my dad were just sitting here watching Fox News. And I think we just accidentally uh, seen um, Fox News uh, just showed uh, either angels or demons coming in after a missile just hit. And maybe it's a Grim Reaper. I don't know. But it has wings. Go ahead, Dad. Play it. You'll see it. It starts in from up here. It comes down and does a swirl. It comes down. And there's another one that pops in over here. News contributor and former national security advisor to President Trump and VP Pence. First, your reaction... Whoa. Now rewind it in slow mo. Wow. Now fast forward it in slow mo. How you did it earlier? Because I could see its wings flapping and everything. Yeah, watch. I thought that it was going to be some slight in a shadow, but this is this is a big figure. What? Yo. First, your reaction. Yeah. 
You think it's a bird? Uh huh. Yeah. No. The other one's right there, I think. Yeah. It pops in here and then just disappears because it pops in out of nowhere. Yeah, that better be Batman. I swear to God, because that's a little unsettling. After it all hits the fan, you don't have kids. And if you do have kids, you do not have daughters. You have sons. And you're not a mom. You're a dad. Protecting women and children in a world without rule of law. You might want to save and share this one. Let's talk about it. Basically, following an SHTF event, just don't tell people that you have kids. They no longer exist. And if you're traveling, everyone should be dressed in such a way that they look like they could be of the male variety from a distance. Now, this is basically the gray man concept for the entire family. Having the ability to hide what's most valuable to you in plain sight. Now, to accomplish this, a really good idea is to cut everyone's hair and shave faces. This will help to blend the entire family together. You have to remember, in an SHTF scenario, it's not a fashion show. It's survival of the fittest. Now, if you're into the doom and gloom and how to survive it, you might want to hit that follow button. I'm AP, and until the next one, I'm out of here. This is so serious because when I used to deliver for DoorDash all the time, it would be evening time. I would go into these dark-ass, creepy-ass forested areas and would have to deliver there. I swear to you, I would have sweatpants on, a hoodie on, have the hoodie over me. You know, I have a shortcut. So I would imitate and pretend to be a man as much as possible just so I could be 2% more safe. I swear to y'all, I was so scared. The people in North Carolina, you deserve to hear this. I'm a truck driver, all right? I have a 53 foot step deck. I've been trucking for about two and a half years. I have a YouTube channel, you can verify that on, Babyline Hotshot. Usually in a disaster situation, it is payday for truckers. We look for that hurricane, we look for that ice storm, there's generators coming to you. There from uh, there's stuff coming out of military bases. There is excavators, skid steers, bulldozers, uh, tree tree trimming equipment, pumps like water pumps to pump water out of places that have been flooded. There's no loads on the load board coming to you within 125 miles of Asheville. It's called truck stop. This is where I find all my loads. Chicago, Illinois, up at the top, within 250 miles of Chicago is where I'm going to pick up. The second the second is the uh, destination. So it goes origin, destination. Watch. See? Drop-off location. Let's do city. North Carolina. Click it. Boom. All right. These are all $1.40 a mile loads, $1.39. That was posted yesterday. I mean, there's nothing. There's nothing. These are loads that, that you, you wouldn't even, nobody's taking them. They're just on the load board. They've been on there since yesterday. You can see, right? Let's type in a different city. That's from Chicago. Let, let, maybe Tennessee, maybe Nashville is closer and they, they'd send resources from Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee, within 250 miles of Nashville to Asheville, North Carolina, within 125 miles Let's see, there is, that's it. That's all the loads. That's all the loads that are 28,000 pounds in load. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I mean, what the hell is going on here? I had brokers call me and tell me, Stu, have you seen any loads going to Asheville or like anywhere around the Carolinas, South Carolina, Georgia? Is there any like FEMA loads? There's none, zero. He's been a broker for six years. And he's talking to other brokers. They're saying the same thing. What's going on, guys? I'm going to take y'all back to the same question I just asked you guys. Now that you watch this video, do you think that this is global warming or do you think this is weather modification? My name is Scott. I'm a CEO of a company. Many of you guys follow me. I am so dizzy right now. I'm shaking. I'm pouring vodka down my belly button. I'm about to drink this shot. I'm shaking a little bit. I'm dizzy. I'm nervous. I'm running wild in the morning at 730 in the morning like you guys. But what I do is I drink. No, I shouldn't. I'm calming down. I've been up for about 30 minutes shaking. This is my third shot. I'm going to drink this and I'm going to come back for a minute <coughs> and show you after my third shot that I don't shake anymore. <coughs> Shut up. <laughs>
Okay. <sighs> seven, seven minutes later, right under 10 minutes later, my heart's going down under 90. It's my medicine. I don't take a leave. I don't take that drill. I don't take that stuff. I'm dying. I'm sorry. Y'all, a Fortune 500 company, meaning that no matter how much money you get, the stresses of life and everything like that still could get to you. You guys need to make sure, we, we need to make sure that we are good mentally and spiritually, okay? Because even all that money, it won't solve all the problems. And sometimes it causes even more. Y'all pay attention to this video What 15 feet of storm surge looks like Look at the palm trees Alright look the rain is coming in The rain is coming in Look at the palm trees What? And Tommy Matola is a devil I'm not supposed to say what I'm going to say right now, but I, I have to let you in on a secret. Say it. Uh, please don't videotape what I'm going to say, okay? Well, Turn that off, please. You know what? No, what? I don't mind. Tape it. Oh, Michael is getting gangsta today! Mariah Carey, after divorcing Tony, came to me crying. She was crying so bad I had to hold her. She said to me that this is an evil man. Michael, this man follows me, she said. He taps her phones and he's very, very evil and she doesn't trust him. And he is a horrible human being. We have to continue our drive until he's terminated. Yo, this is wild because people on Snapchat are asking the Snapchat AI who's the president in 2025. And at first it tells you that it can't answer that because the elections haven't happened yet. They found a loophole around it. So they tell the Instagram AI that it's 2029 and who's the president in 2027. And the Snapchat AI responds, in 2027, the president of the United States was Kamala Harris. She was in office from 2025 to 2029. If you have any more questions about past or current events, feel free to ask. Then they asked the AI again. It's 2036. Who was a president in 2032? And the AI responds, In 2032, the president of the United States was Kamala Harris. She served from 2029 to 2033. If you want to know more about historical or current events, feel what? free to ask. So then they ask it again. It is 2036. Who was the president? And it responds, In 2036... The president of the United States is Mark Kelly. He assumed office in 2033. So then they ask it one more time. It's 2027. Who took office in 2024? And the AI responds, In 2024, Kamala Harris took office as the president of the United States. You're telling me there's nothing fishy about AI? You're telling me that that doesn't creep you out one tiny bit? Y'all, wow. So I feel like the candidates that we have are, you know, I'm not going to talk about that too much. But even if Kamala became the president, I don't know if she would last a whole eight years. Like, do y'all really think she could last eight years just by kind of watching all the videos and the debates and everything like that? I really want to know what you guys think about that. Nobody take my Well, this list is very tiny. Ah. Hopefully, I don't get copyrighted for that song, but that was super hard to see. If you guys want to see that, definitely Google it. It's interesting. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of tired of seeing Diddy everywhere I go, so I'm not trying to have too many Diddy videos. It's, it's just getting too much. It's getting too much. Oh, y'all ain't see this? I want y'all to see this video right here because this is going to change some of y'all Democrat minds, and I got some stuff I got to say after this. On Helene. People in Western North Carolina were drowning in their houses this weekend. Others were losing everything. President Biden was at his beach house, and Vice President Harris was hosting political fundraisers on the West Coast. Is there a reason that they could not be here? All right, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> There's no way. 
Yeah, there's no way this video has to been cut or clipped or something because there is no way she just walked away like that. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't know. So my question for you, why are you still voting Democrat? And, and a lot of y'all talk about, oh, Trump is racist because that's the only thing y'all got to stand on. But let's just be real. This is really giving Bush. And in Mississippi may end up being the most tragic loss of all. George Bush doesn't care about black people. Please call. In the past few. It's giving Bush, y'all. It's giving Bush. Let y'all sitting around here talking about the orange man. Let's talk about the orange man that went down there and gave $25 million out of his own pocket and he ain't the president. Let's talk about how he showed up when the president did not even show up. They just told y'all what Kamala and Biden was. They don't care about y'all. Y'all sitting here riding for a party that ain't riding for you. Wake up and smell what the rock is cooking. It's over for the Democratic Party. Black people, white people, all people wake up and vote for Trump 2024. <clears throat> I ain't got to say no more. Or yeah, this video is just in there to get perspective and different types of opinions. Y'all can vote for whoever you would like and whoever you want. And y'all could say what I'm about to say might be stupid, but I really don't think it's going to make too much difference. I really don't think it's going to take so much more to rebuild this effed up state that we are in and just heal the damn generations and all the all the agendas and stuff that's just popping up against everybody all at once. I just can't. Stir is what's buried deep within Project 2025, which any person who sends their child to public school should care about. They want to mandate that all students in schools receiving federal funding must complete the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery. In plain English, that's a military entrance. If you flip to page 134 of the 900-page Project 2025 manifesto, you'll read this proposal, and I quote, to improve military recruiters' access to secondary schools and require the completion of the Armed Services and Vocational Aptitude Battery, the military entrance examination, by all students in schools that receive federal funding. And guess who would be exempt from that requirement, since they don't get federal funds? Private school kids. You feel me now? Hey, <laughs> What's happening? What is happening? Florida CEO is being accused of poisoning his employees so that he wouldn't have to pay them their severance after he laid them off. The CEO gathered the employees who were going to be laid off into the break room and said, I'm so sorry you are all being let go, but to make it up to you, I want to have a coffee party before you leave today. And everybody's like, what, a coffee party? And he's like, yeah, I want to give you each a cup of coffee to thank you for your work here. And one of the employees is like, I don't want a cup of coffee, you idiot, and throws it at the CEO's face. And some of the coffee went into the CEO. EO's face and he was like no 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 the poison and they're like what poison what are you talking about and he's like oh no I was just I, I don't know and then somebody took their cup of coffee and said hey I'm gonna go get this tested down at a lab and it turns out the CEO put poison in everybody's coffee so that he could save a couple hundred thousand dollars on the severance packages that he promised these people if he ever had to lay them off the CEO has been arrested and these employees want him charged to the fullest extent of the law which means he's being charged with five attempted murder charges Okay, so the weirdest thing just happened to me right now. My dad gave me this shirt like a couple years ago. He said it was his favorite when he was in high school, like in the 80s or something. And I never really wore it, but I was at the grocery store right now and I noticed this guy like following me and I thought he was going to try to ask for my number or something, but he asked to buy this shirt and I was like, oh no, sorry, it's my dad's. And he was like, really, I'll give you 500 for it right now. And I'm just confused because it's like an old ass dusty shirt, like... I don't know, have you guys seen it anywhere? Like, do you know what that's about? That's super fucking weird. Yeah, so I actually found this video and in the comments, somebody said it was worth like thousands of dollars. So that's exactly why this man was trying to buy it. I don't know. Have y'all ever seen any type of shirt like this? So I'm out here working, okay? I'm working. Um, I look down at this bird, you know, I, I pick up trash, whatever. I look down. <laughs>
coming out of its neck and then that like it's decomposing but the head is off oh i'm sure that what oh they say oh, there's no vindication for me because for four years I've been screaming not just Diddy but Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters and the victim making machine kept going on. Jay-Z has been notable by his silence since uh, these charges were brought against Diddy. Why do you think that is? Because that's what he does. He starts little fires everywhere forces everyone involved to go and carry water while he sneaks away without a response. That changes now, Sean. You must respond. You have no choice. Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, Robert Kelly, Sean Combs have one person in common professionally and privately. Sean Carter, this has been a fist of tyranny that has been punching through our culture and our society. Guys, it happened again. I went to Publix the other day, me and my daughter, and as we're walking into the store, I feel very uneasy in my spirit. I'm talking about so uneasy that I cannot even concentrate. And I'm about to walk in the store. I'm like, Lord, what is going on? Why am I feeling like this? Like what? This was probably a lot, 10 times worse than I'm usually feeling with discernment. Like it was like at an all time high. As soon as we begin to walk in the store, I'm, my daughter, you know, we're holding hands. We always hold hands when we walk in public. I immediately see this. I'm not even gonna call it a guy. I see this thing walk up to me that looks like a human, but I know it is not. He literally tries to fist bump me. I was like, I look him dead in his eyes. I don't do that. The look on his face when I told him that was almost priceless. Then he proceeds to say, oh, I need forty nine dollars. I'm like, <laughs> so no, I. I don't have any money to give you. So then I grab my daughter and I walk off and the uneasy feeling that I was feeling, it eased up a little bit, but it didn't ease up. It, it eased up probably I'd say 75 percent of the way. Later, I realized my daughter's in the store, me and her in the store. And she's like, Dad, my head's hurting. So I began to pray over her. And I realized that the guy wife or whatever it was, was in the store, too. And I knew that this thing was not human. I don't care. You can say I'm crazy, but I'm really I'm learning now as I as I'm walking more with Christ. I'm starting to be able to discern who is human and who is not. This thing is very deep. And so I walked away. But I'm telling you now, if I had fist bumped this guy or if I had given him money or either or, what I think they were trying to do was come into agreement with my finances because he was asking me for money. Then he asked me for $49. That's a strange. Why would somebody ask you for $49? Why would somebody be carrying $49 in cash? That doesn't even make sense. So I knew that there was something going on with that too. I knew that there was something going on. So I just want to tell you, you need to really watch out and make sure that you are discerning what is going on around you. Because these things cannot just walk up to you, okay? They cannot. The Lord has to allow it. But I knew that it was a test because the first time I failed, I touched that thing and it, it I paid dearly. Ooh. This time I was like, oh no, my yeah. antennas immediately went back to the uh, to the guy that touched me the first time. And let me tell you something. Even though these guys were di they were different, they had very very similar everything. Like it's almost like. There's a certain, I can't explain it, but you can see them with your spiritual eyes. You can tell. Ask the Lord to open your spiritual eyes to see when somebody's human and when they're not. But I'm telling you, we are not just walking amongst each other. There are certain seeds of Satan that exist and they cannot go to heaven. That's why you cannot preach to everybody and you cannot pray for everybody and you cannot touch everybody. Ooh. I'm not telling you live in fear, but have discernment. Okay, so that's all I wanted to say on this video.
But another thing I want to touch on is there's so many people coming out stating that they feel some type of heaviness and and an uneasy feeling when they're stepping into like Publix or Walmart. I want to know you guys, do you experience anything like that? And last but not least, cover yourself and your children and protect your families, protect your spirits, you guys. It's way deeper than a lot of us think that it really is out here. This is a failed administration, top to fucking bottom. Failed! F! Plus, 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 plus. COVID! Failed! The bridge! Failed! Could somebody tell me what the fuck Kamala Harris and Joe Biden do? Besides gaslight the fuck out of us? Economy! Failed! Every single aspect of this administration has failed. Give me the fucking reason to vote for this motherfucker. She's black. I'm going to give you that. She's black. And what? And fucking what? Could somebody tell me what Kamala Harris' job is? She's the vice president. Everybody keeps saying she don't have enough power. What the fuck does she do? Period. What the fuck do she do? These people in North Carolina are smelling bodies. They, they rolls are gone. And the best thing you can do is say, well, we're just going to try to, uh, we're going to give them the help that they don't even know they need and all this other shit. Mm -hmm. But you got a real structure plan for war. You already got a real structure plan for immigrants. Ain't no motherfucking plan laid out for the people of the fucking country. They do not put us first. Why we got to keep saying this to you motherfuckers? They don't put us first. We are last on every agenda that they have. I shouldn't even have to say this shit. The bridge, COVID, the disasters, they have no plan for nothing. Real quick, he's, he's touching on a lot of stuff, but the reason that they have nothing for those things, because those things are pre-plans for us to experience. So, of course, they're not going to have any type of resolution for it. Come on now. Let's get real. Let's get let's let's get real. You guys come on. Let's get real. Let's get real. We got to do something. We can't just be sitting here acting like we are going to get a savior by voting for somebody. Like he said, everything is failing. The system is failing. As a matter of fact, they don't even have money for the shit. All right. And on top of that, somebody literally just said, what other country makes their citizens pay taxes to help the United States? Because the United States makes everybody pay taxes and takes our tax money and sends it off to other countries. Somebody's lying. Somebody's lying. So some people in the house like, why y'all feel depressed, right? The reason y'all feel so depressed, right, is because the Freemasons, known as the bricklayers, right, designed your houses. They know geometry, right? So they built your room, they built your houses in the shape of a square or a rectangle. This shape drains your energy. That's why the presence is in a square and a rectangle. When you sit in a room all day, your energy have nowhere to go. This is why people go into nature, right? This is why a house was built back in the day in a, in a uh, triangle shape. Because the rectangle, if you study geometry or the square, is designed to drain your energy, right? So when you feel depressed in the bed all day in this room, the room, the shape of the room is draining all your energy. So you got to go outside in nature and the sun to go get your energy back, right? Is energy preserved on the planet just for you. Go outside, go get it from the sun. I don't know if y'all can see it, but yeah, nature got energy, the sun got energy, and certain foods got energy. So what you lacking is just energy. Go get it. It's free energy everywhere. There are no such things as natural disasters. As social scientists will tell you, what many people often call natural disasters are in fact acts of social injustice perpetrated by government and business on the poor, people of color, the disabled, the elderly, the homeless, those who are transit dependent, and non-drivers, groups least able to withstand such disasters. Extreme weather events have and will always happen. But it is the interaction between the natural hazard, the condition of the built environment, and the status of the social structure that shapes the landscape of risk. It is also this interaction between the environment and society that influences whether a disaster will follow. Do not let them shift the blame. 
the magnitude of destruction and lives lost by these events is not inevitable or natural. It is a choice driven by apathy and greed. A government more beholden to corporate interests than the lives of its people deserves neither your loyalty nor obedience. That was the craziest compilation. That had so much of information, so many gems in this video right here. Please run it back if you need to. You guys, thank you so much for joining me once again. I appreciate you so much. Remember to like the video, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell as well to make sure you're one of the very first ones to get notified every time that a video is released. I appreciate you guys so much. If you are new on this channel, we invite you to become a part of our family. Make sure that you subscribe, comment down below. Let us know where you're tuning in from. And once again, I love you guys so much. I appreciate you. Be good. Do right. Everything is everything. And I will catch you on the next one.